here's the next one here. Um, I'm not going to do a video on the core trash. I did I, I did put up um, an image on Facebook and I also put a correlated document that you can download of what's present there. So that way you can look at what's involved in the section way. After we take out Nathandra, we come into an area that um, leads to an access point where there's four and that's the core of the nightmare. Um, the core of the nightmare has a series of different elements that are relative throughout the area. The four paths that are available at the end of it, which is the access point, um, puts us puts us where we have to choose which boss we want to go. So it's kind of like Nathandra, then pick four, right? So we're going to be going to Ilganoth, which is to the south, um, which is in Gorok Crater. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the trash that's in that area there. Um, the trash has two two functional groups as we kind of move forward um, that you want to look for once you're at Ilganoth and then there's going to be some tainted blood petal ads that are spread throughout the area as you move towards him so just think of it kind of like a corridor and we have to work our way through it um, the tainted blood petal ads do an effect they channel called nightmare spore they become rooted and then it's basically an AoE heal and AoE damage combination between the two of them now they don't have a lot of health but what you want to do is um, get them grouped and then AOE CC stun, maybe even do specific target. There's, um, I'm not sure how many are in a group, so there could be one up to, you know, whatever. So what we'll do is we'll just set up stuns and things like that on specific targets. We can throw some marks up on them and just be like, boom, and engage. Or we can just grab them as a whole and then boom, stun, AOE stuns, knockbacks, things like that. And then immediately we go into AOE constantly until they're all burned down. Um, and if that doesn't work, then we'll go into specifically burning down each one with stunts on others. Okay, um, it's not that it's not that big of a damage dealer, but it 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 can in through the channeling of so many of them at one point, it could become very dangerous. So we got to watch out for it. Okay, um, next element is the Flail of Ilganoth, and then also Bolan the Marked. Bolan looks like a T-Rex of some nature, and then the flails um, are just tentacles. They're, they're uh, purple, they have clearly some red points on them, some red claw mark, red claws. Uh, what they do is they have to be tanked, they're in groups of two, there's four total. Um, Bolan is probably pacing in front of them, so what we want to try to do is get Bolan in the middle and then pull Bolan off and then deal with him. Um, he does a crush armor debuff that's 30% more damage onto the tank. So that's pretty. That's probably going to be a swap moment. Now if you can take two of those hits and you're still fine, then cool. You know, it's the discretionary to the tanks. Uh, there's also a random charge that's going to occur. So um, you randomly target someone, charge after them, stun them for two seconds, and then go back to the tank. And then every 25 seconds he does Intimidating Roar, which is a 20 yard AoE Fear. Due to us being melee heavy, this is going to be a big one that we want to pay attention to so that way we don't get feared into the flails because then we'd have to deal with that damage too. So Bolin's going to be tanked, we'll try to get him from the middle or wherever the flails are positioned and then we'll adjust them accordingly and then get Bolin in a position where we can tank him towards the front of the entrance as we come into the area and then deal with him accordingly. Um, the flails do spew which is kind of like an AoE that they're just going to randomly throw around on targets. Um, it says here that it does 100,000 shadow damage to an enemy, and it's random. If a tank's not on the target, so this is going to be a Skull X mark target system here on this one. And then once the tanks are on them, then everyone will engage. Now once a melee engages, you'll start to see Wild Flail, which is basically uh, 150,000 AoE physical damage with a knock that, that knocks up. Um, our melee that are present in it. Um, there's not really too much that can be done about it. So the idea is going to be focus on one target, burn it down, focus on the next target, burn it down. Uh, we might even do a hero on the pull with it just to make sure that we have the extra damage on the first encounter just to see where we're at and see what we can do there until they're dead. And then once target skull is down, then we go to target X and we do that for each one of the groups. And then that'll push us into Ilganoth and engaging in that fight. Okay. If you have any questions, please comment below and I appreciate you taking time watching the video.